Hello, everybody, and welcome to our. Uh, we're trying to finish all the DCU movies, and we've done two movies now in a couple weeks. Oh shit! Like three weeks now, we watched two movies. To be fair, we watched these right away. Yeah, we watched this one about a week ago, at least, and it's going pretty well. <laughs> Doing good. <laughs> yeah, we were like, hey, let's watch all the. D-. You know, they just announced the Snyder the- Cut. The bells already been rung. And they've heard it. Out in the dark, among the stars. Mm-hmm. Ding dong, the god is dead. I'm trying to get comfortable over here. It's kind of my legs are getting all like twisted. I'm like a fucking pretzel in this chair. A fucking pretzel. I usually put my but this see this new we got a new table. This one's so fucking tall. My legs are getting wrapped around the bar on the bottom. I usually rest them on the bar on the thing. That's more information than people need. Probably. Uh, today we're talking about. I dig it. Wrong button. <laughs> wow. Today we're talking about how Aquaman digs it. Today we're talking about Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. That's what they should have titled it. Yeah, yeah. I bet it went. Uh, I, w- I wonder if many people would have went and saw it. Like, if like the the if that was just everyday a- Joe would have been like, "What's that? Hmm. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham? <laughs> what? Is that like a Batman ripoff? That'd be kind it's of like the Kmart Batman v Superman." <laughs> wow. Um. So there's some things I want to talk about first, and we can get into our top ten list or whatever. First thing, this movie is so long; it literally feels like it's a mini series. That was cut into th- like a three-hour movie. It's a bit much. There, there's so much going on in this. They, have, it's a Justice League prequel. They kill Superman. Spoilers. They introduce Batman. They introduce Wonder Woman. They introduce Aquaman. You know the rest of the Justice League. Lois Lane's walking around with a bullet that everyone thinks Superman shot. There's so much going on. Yeah, one might say maybe too much. Yeah, they if literally if they would have just cut up maybe one of these storylines. It might have been like a more coherent movie, but a lot better. Because the there's a lot I like about this movie. Yeah. But then there's some stuff that you're just like, yeah, that's not necessary at all. Yeah, no, there is there is things in this movie that are pretty cool. Uh, there's also things in this movie that you're like, hmm, do we need all this? Like, uh, here, I'll do my reenactment of Jason Momoa in this movie. <laughs> Why would he attack the camera guy? Yeah, I don't know. I know it's probably like a drone down there or something, but that's a weird scene. Maybe Why he, is that in there? And then, yeah. then the Flash is like getting like a Red Bull and he's like, stop the robber. That, that part was actually kind of cool. Those are all lame. All those emails are lame. And I also, I wrote down here later on, but I'll talk about now since I'm talking about the emails. Why does Cyborg's dad turn off the camera? <laughs> there, he's filming, his, he's recreating his son, you know, because his son, whatever they ha- the origin is in this movie, um... He's fixing him. The mother box gets attached to him exactly what he's expecting. He's trying to fix him. And then he's like, oh, time to turn the camera off. I fixed him. Now it's over. Now we're done here. It, it, if he leaves it on, there's no mystery, I guess. Yeah, but then why is he recording in the first place? Like, I it'd be like, it'd be like I if I'm trying answer. to bring a frog back to life, so I'm going to videotape it. And the second the frog's like, <gasps> hello, like, my baby. Yeah, hello. Like, Beep. We're done here. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, and also, the, the casting in this movie is very, very good. The casting, the casting even is like really good. Batman's parents, I would because lo- you know, like they don't cast these people, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and I can't remember her name from Walking Dead. You don't cast them if you're not ever planning on doing the Flashpoint, and then you're gonna have him be Batman and her be Joker and all that shit. And I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I hope we eventually get that down the road because I feel like that's what they were hoping for. Do you, do you, but I don't know if we'll get any more DC. Yeah, I don't think EU. Not, not none of this stuff. I, I mean, maybe, maybe who knows? In a, in a best of all possible worlds. The Snyder Cut does amazing. It's the best movie we've ever seen. Fuck Avengers Endgame. It's all about this. That's not happening. It's not happening. But maybe. And then they'll keep going with this, you know, this franchise. I think I think it's just not right, if that makes sense. Like, the whole... There's just something missing from these movies. And I don't know what it is. Hope. Not hope. Oh. <laughs> it's just... I mean, this movie, like... Where would you put this in the ranks of a Marvel movie? Uh, this would this would be like an Ant Man. Ant Man kills. Like you you can no you could you could watch this and it's entertaining, but it doesn't matter really. Uh, I have one. 
piece of trivia for the movie. You know, for this big ass movie, you think you'd have more than one. Uh, I could have done more, but I found that this is recently confirmed. I was like, oh, I'll put that in the trivia, and then I didn't want to get any more trivia. This is an old movie. People can find their own trivia. But uh, the dead Robin is officially Dick Grayson. Oh, yeah. I, does does that matter? Uh, it does because they were making a... Uh, see, it doesn't make sense, and it shows how much they communicate. They are literally going to make a Robin Nightwing movie. Oh, I forget who was directing it, but someone was, and they were going to make it. And people wanted Glenn from The Walking Dead to play him and all this other shit. But, so I, it makes me, it's kind of hard to believe that, honestly. The way they uh, have been setting it, it seems, the way they talked in the past and the way they're talking now seems different. But that's, yeah. that's what Zack Snyder says. So whatever he says goes. He's, he's, he's the it. boss. He's the boss. Mm-hmm, he's God. Hmm. At least to his fans. Uh, you want to get into our top 10 list? Sure. All right. First one for me. You're not going to explain the top 10. We've done that enough, right? Yeah, just it's just talking about the movie. Fucking get over it, people. Jesus, you're a fucking angry little bitch today. Making the beginning of this movie the end of the Man of Steel mm-hmm. is really cool. It's just like it's just Batman's perspective as opposed to everyone the movie's. Yeah, that's that's the same thing I have. As a Bruce Wayne scene, the ending of Man of Steel is a very cool storyline that I'm glad they added into this. He runs in because like, you have to get to see him kind of be Batman ish too without being Batman. He's going to yeah. save he saves a little girl. He saves Scoot McNary. He yells at Jack as the building's falling down. Yeah, yeah, and and there's obviously there's scenes from the Man of Steel and stuff, but it it just it was real, it was done really cool. I thought it was a, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, that, it was a good way to start the movie. It was cool too because it was totally just because they, all the backlash they got in the last one, and they're like, oh well, maybe that's why Batman hates him. He agrees with you guys that he killed a lot of people, and you're like, yeah, fucking right, Batman. He did get him. They did fuck up a lot of shit. I believe there's a it's a show Kevin Smith did and had. Zack Snyder on it and someone from Man of Steel and you said like 5,000 people died in that incident. How many people did we lose Metropolis that fateful day? I mean, I probably 5,000 people or something like that. Uh, it's really stupid that they introduced Jimmy Olsen in this movie just to kill him. The guy out there in the desert with Lois Lane. Jimmy, it w- it Jimmy w- Olsen apparently and they just kill him off. Yeah, the, the Jimmy Olsen thing was weird. So in that same desert area, Superman saves Lois. You know, a guy has a gun to her head. He stands there. It's a standoff. He's like, I'll kill her. He goes, and gets the guy really quick in a flash and flies through the wall and all that. Proving he could have saved his father in the fucking tornado. (laughs) That was so quick. You almost couldn't see it. So he could have saved his father. Right? 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 You can't say I'm wrong. Can't say I'm wrong. Right? Just let it go. Right? Not what his father wanted. Oh my God! Well, his father wanted to kill him. So if there's fucking nooses and guns in the world, you don't gotta also, you don't gotta die in front of your son in a tornado. Um. So yeah, that's all I got for my. Own. He Superman could have saved his father, and uh, I was, I'm sticking to it. Yeah. <laughs> Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne interact with Wonder Woman. Oh wow! You jumped big time. Yeah, this isn't my favorite movie of all time. That's for sure. Um. I really like that when they are all they're at, they all they're at Lex Luthor's party. Yeah, and then she steals the little thingy that he needed. <laughs> the little thingy that he what, needed. What was it? The USB? Is that what it was? Yeah, he was getting he's stealing Lex Luthor's information on everybody. Yeah, he plugged it in the computer, but she stole like the USB. Yeah, or she technically she borrowed it. Yeah, I I really really like that scene too of her show her doing all that. I like the whole thing too because I like. When they like talk to each other and like Lex Luthor shakes his hand, he's like, "Oh wow, and a good grit." And I, he clearly knows who they are. You know what? I can't help but think of when I watch this scene hmm. is the Jimmy Kimmel skit they do. Batman, it's Batman. It's true. I am Batman. You're not Batman. I'm Lego Batman. Nobody cares about Lego Batman. I, every time I watch this movie, I can't help but think of that scene. Might have been better than this movie. Oh, it's, I mean, it's better than this scene for sure. Yeah. But that, that is really good. They've done meeting for the first time. And he's like, oh, I love bringing people together. Because cl- cl- clearly he knows who they are. I feel like, so I've never been a big fan of, just forgot his name. Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah. Never been a big fan of him. Mm-hmm. D- d- don't dislike him or anything. Just, you know. And then I heard him on a podcast. We watched uh, the, what's the Facebook movie? Oh, uh, social network. Social network. You seen? Now you see me. Yeah. So I've I've kind of grown to like him mm-hmm. in recently, and I do like him in this movie. But it, his parts just I don't like his part. 
I don't. It's not that I don't like him as Lex Luthor. I no, just, yeah, his Lex Luthor is. I don't know. Like I can see him being a good Lex Luthor, but I don't like the way they did it in this movie. Yeah, that's it. I don't like it either. Yeah, but, they, like but, it's just so it's just so odd. It's just not Lex Luthor. Like I think the first time I watched it, I'm like, he's not gonna be a good Lex Luthor. And then mm. it was weird. So I was like, yeah, see, yeah, it's just he's not good. And then, but now I've seen him do other stuff, and I think he's a good actor. I just did, I think that I think they wanted yeah it just, just they have, the way they had him do it was weird yeah uh, what's funny is I really really like there's a theory when this was first coming out I don't remember if it was after the movie came out or if it was leading up but that he is because you know they kind of mentioned they kind of hint that he's Lex Luthor Jr. and this oh, they bring yeah, his dad yeah, and all that yeah. that Brian Cranston was going to be his father and Brian Cranston was going to be the real Lex Luthor yeah, that'd be cool there was, there was a lot of theories about that there was even rumors that the movie did bad so they decided not to do that stuff like that but like some people have denied that some people have said like no i don't know but that would have been a really cool idea i am not in danger skyler i am the danger a guy opens his door and gets shot and you think that of me no i am the one who knocks that scene i have here where he's talking to the man and he's like so can i get uh zod's body and he opens up the jolly rancher and he's like Put oh, it puts yeah. in the guy's mouth. That's so fucking like you don't need stuff like that for him. That's so weird. Yeah, I get it's supposed to be like he's supposed to be like maybe you think he's mentally ill, but he's getting visions of like gods and whatnot and all this shit. But there's a lot of that you just don't need. He's in this movie. Def- he's definitely deranged. Yeah, uh, but that's really all I got about him. He's just a weirdo, and that's it. Uh, Batman fighting the Superman soldiers. Oh, yeah, the nightmare scene. Yeah. Yeah, I love that and nightmare scene, especially because we were supposed to get that in, like, I think it was Justice League 2, I think, maybe. Like, it was supposed to come back, and, like, that's why Flash shows up there and says, Lois is the key, just like in Injustice and all that. Like, I love that stuff, and I'm so disappointed that we didn't haven't got to see any of that, and I don't think we're going to. Well, and that's, I have at the, at the end, Flash gives the message, because that was cool, too. Yeah. I remember when we were in the theaters, I was like, oh, fuck, they're setting up a lot of shit. That's going to be cool. But Can't wait till I get to see that. See, and that's the thing. Maybe they should have just stuck to the... To, to see, see, and the, pr- the problem is because this movie did so poorly, like, critically, Warner Brothers stepped in and made him change all of this stuff so fast. Because they, they went... Right right when this came out, they were filming Justice League. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, I, I, I wish they would have just trusted him a little bit because I know people didn't like his movies and, like, they're all right. But I do think, honestly, if we saw the end of him, we would have been like, okay, that was kind of a cool, like group of movies i mean it's maybe mm-hmm. yeah I, ju- I just feel like maybe they just try to do too much yeah he i think he was he had so m- kind of like it, it reminds me of like watching the documentary of star wars and george lucas r- basically had four five and six right now and he's like well that's too much story and i can't make that so he made four and then he then that's why he, we have five and six is because he right. had wrote so much like he maybe Batman be like he should have maybe just done a Batman movie or something that set up Lex Luthor fucking with him because it's almost not that apparent either like it's just kind of like there's like a random comment that Lex Luthor got oh. him to the point of killing and stuff in this too you for know? sure yeah so like they're like a Batman movie and then Batman v Superman and then a movie where Doomsday like you just space it out a little bit and I think people would have been on on board with his ideas but he mashed every single idea into one movie. And then he's like, and I got just like one, two, and three we're going to go do. And I'll, I'm like, I got to slow down a little bit, bud. It just feels like it's all over the place compared to like a Marvel movie where everything's planned. And like, they're like, nope, can't do that in this movie because we're going to do this in this movie. And, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, ever since probably, I don't know, the Hulk. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, all right, from now on. Yeah. You, you know? Yeah. I do, and I do like a lot of this movie. Because then it gets towards the end and you're like, you could have probably just ended it with them fighting and done something. You don't have to bring Doomsday into it and kill Superman. Because it also, that part doesn't even make sense either, because you know, we'll get into that. Okay. Uh, even though he kills so many people, the Batman car chasing is very cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, like, in the end, he crashes. Yeah, he, I just, I brought that up earlier. He crashes a car into a building, drags the car across town, and then we get the famous... Do you bleed? Now. Unfortunately, they kind of ruined that line in Justice League when he's like, you do you bleed to Batman? And he's all like Ugh, on the floor. It's all goofy and fucking weird, but tell me, do you bleed, Clark? Oh uh, yeah. 
something is definitely bleeding. Yeah, that's, that's a real good car chase scene. Even though he literally murders everybody, but he literally goes through like a hundred buildings and then hits Superman and crashes into the fucking like Superman's more yeah. powerful than and all like those I, see, I think like also like that was meant to show like oh he's Batman, he's taking down all these guys. Oh, Superman stops him in one second. Yeah. So that's what I really like about Which it. Which is too. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's a really good scene. He maybe could have done with like a mm, hundred less deaths, but no, if I don't care about the people die. They are bad guys. You know what's weird too? Yeah. Like, I feel like they 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 have this guy throughout the whole movie, and they don't make him as big a character as they do like an Arrow. They have KG Beast in this movie a lot, and it, he's just like a little guy going along. Like he's in the back of the car when he's chasing him. He's at the uh, end with the flamethrower. Yeah. And like I, I was like, oh, he was way cooler on Arrow. Like, and like I I feel like that could have been a cool character on your like Batman be fighting a bunch. Yeah. But I was like, they did him better on Arrow. I I don't have a problem with bad guys dying. Because they're bad guys. Be- because when you play L.A. Noor, you're chasing the guy. He's too far ahead, and you're like, "Ah, my legs hurt." Poof, and you just pop a cap in his ass, and you want to move on with your day. Right. But so I, I don't have a problem. So I don't I don't care if he kills people because they're all bad. And now if he starts killing innocent, I kind of see that. But if he kills innocent people, hey, they know if you rob him a bank, you, you're gonna get you can get killed. If you're stealing shit off a sub that could kill Superman, you might get you might die. Yeah. You know the risk. Uh, the Bat- Batman fighting in his armor. I just oh, like, yeah. I, I that, just like that, that. That is the best looking bat suit they've ever made on film. But it, it's a it's a great suit. I, I love that suit. Yeah, Superman kind of fucked it up, but you know. a little bit. Yeah, it tore hop. Oh, it does look a little cool though. A little bit of a face ripped off. He, he's a little Darth Vader ish there. It was weird. It, it is also weird too. That lady in the council. I don't know her name, but Lex Holly L- Honor. Lex Luthor literally breaks so many laws in this movie. He gets Batman and Superman to fight each other, and then he asks her for permission to get Kryptonite. Yeah, that was weird. And then she's like, "No." And then he's like, oh, "And then he's all like, go get it anyway." Why? Why have that scene where they're talking, and he gets, goes and asks for the Kryptonite just so he could be a weirdo? Yeah, and he put want to put a Jolly Rancher in her mouth. I think. I think. I think the point was he was trying to turn people against Superman. So if he could yeah, get her on his side, he, but he doesn't need to ask her for Kryptonite. No, no, but he wanted her against Superman too. I think that's. I mean, that's. I'm just guessing. Maybe. You know what I mean? Uh, Batman saving Martha Kent. That was really good. Cool. I, I think like, that's my favorite scene. That warehouse scene is very good. I like how like Alfred gives him the little like, lip up into the building and all that. He fights. He does kill people. They throw a grenade and he does definitely murder those dudes in the back. And slams that dude into the... He kills some people in there. But it's a really cool fight scene. It reminds me of uh, Arkham Games. We previously said... You we, said that it's okay with him killing people. You agreed with me, I said he could, I said he could be a little less deaths. Some of the guys... Like, he could have took the grenade and threw it out the window or something. But he's like, there you go, bitch. Fuck you. That's what I would have done. Yeah, you're not Batman, though. You never will be. I don't want to be Batman. So, did Lex Luthor create Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman's logo? Because, you know, they get those emails, and they all have their own logos on it, and they click on each one to see the little security tapes. Did he create all their logos for them? Yeah. And then they saw, somehow they got the emails, too, and they're like, wow, that's kind of badass. No, he did the same thing for Nike. Oh, he made Nike's logo, too? Mm-hmm. Wow. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. Did he, like, give the Nike, like the CEO of Nike peach tea also? Granny's peach tea? Grandpa's. Grandpa. Is that, like, shit? That's, like, chocolate, yeah, it's chocolate cool. tea? Yeah. Uh, when Batman says, oh, shit, and then Wonder Woman saves him. Oh, shit. But, uh, see, that's good, but I also, I hate that whole last part of the movie. The only part I liked about it was seeing Wonder Woman fight with them. Uh, see, to me, it was just—it's just boring. Cause I don't even—I don't even enjoy. Like, it is cool them all being together, seeing the Trinity and all that, but they're just fighting like a gray, big beast that everybody does now. It was just—it's just, just kind of lame. Yeah, that part wasn't cool at all. But like, I, I do like though how much fun she's—she's she's having a blast fighting Doomsday, and that—that that is cool to see. Oh yeah. Um. Well, and like, I mean, Batman's like he. <laughs> He crashes. He's kind of just standing around towards he, the end. He's he crashes the car and he's like, oh fuck! And he is because he knows he's screwed. And then yeah. she, you know, and then you don't know what she's gonna do. And he shoots that shit and she blocks it with her. Yeah. You know what he could have done to not be in that situation? What? Superman takes uh, Doomsday into space and one Martian Manhunter shoots nukes at him for some fucking reason. No, did he? He didn't want to. It was the president. Oh, but he could have shut him down. He's Martian Manhunter for fuck's sake. 
so they send nukes up to him and all that's happened and then he lands back down and he's like oh the spear i gotta get the spear i gotta get it to chase me back to go- go- to gotham or wherever he dropped the spear yeah he's in a plane that dude's just fucking <laughs> all around down there why doesn't he just go <laughs> grab the spear get it back in his car and <laughs> over to him and then he could just literally like throw it out of the fucking car into doomsday or something but no, he's got to chase him there. He crashes, says, oh, shit. Then Superman's got to grab the spear for some reason, even though Wonder Woman's right there, and she could clearly have done it and killed him, but he has to because, you know, I have to. I'm the man. And does it and dies. The whole last bit of Irby, oh, shit, I'm, Superman dies. Could have been avoided. So many ways. Did Batman know where the spear was? Yeah, he literally goes, oh, the spear. I got to go get it. And then he crashes, well, and can't. then Lois goes and gets no, it. No, he said, yeah, I need to get him to follow me back to Gotham. Because of the spear. Right. But he didn't know exactly where it was. Mm-hmm. He literally threw it away when he was like, Martha? Yeah, and then the fucking, it fell in the water, and it was, and the thing collapsed. Yeah, but he knew where it was at. Approximately. Don't you think that he thought that they were going to, like, lose? And then, like, so he needs to go, he, if he chases him, then he's, like, distracted, and he can go get the spear. But I, but what I'm saying is, if he wouldn't have had Doomsday chase him, he could have just got, flew there, jumped in there. Went down in the water, grabbed the spear, and went back, and it would have been fine. Yeah, I guess. None, none of that would have happened. And then also, Superman doesn't need to throw the spear into Doomsday in the, to begin with. You th- you think Wonder Woman should have done it? Yeah, because she could she could literally lick the spear up and down and wouldn't affect her in any way. Superman touches the bottom of the spear, and he gets all sick. It was at the bottom of that fucking water. She shouldn't be licking it. She's fine. She's a god. He could, she could have. She could get a cold. She, she could have got it and killed Doomsday, and then they would have all been fine. But Superman does it and gets killed. It makes no sense. Why did he have to do it? So that he could die. So they make Justice League and then bring him back. Yeah, it's stupid. It's all that. That's the part that's stupid. Is that oh, we have to kill him because in Justice League I wrote that he's dead. That's the only reason he dies in this. It's because Zack Snyder said I want to do a Justice League where Batman's getting the people together because Superman's dead. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, I, I, there could have been such a better way to I, do that. The whole time I watched the movie, I never thought, why does it matter? I mean, I did think, why does Superman I have to I thought that in, in the theaters, and then I thought that rewatching it now, I was like, this makes no sense. I, I get why Superman tried to do it, because it's like, it's it's from him, his place, and he, well, sort of. Um, so he thinks he has to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know, like, what if Batman throws it and he just goes... No, Batman went to throw it. Give it to Wonder Woman. She oh. could basically fly and stab it into him. Maybe. Your, uh, your plan might work. And Because uh, normally, the only reason Superman does... And I, they did it because in the comics he does it and fights him and dies. But in the comics, Doomsday also takes down every single person with abilities in the Justice League. That can stop him. So Superman's the only person that he's like, well, fuck, I have to do it now. And we'll, uh, we'll, and we'll get him and shit. What is he just but fucking waiting? Wonder Woman and Batman are like... I mean, you got it, Clark. To be fair, they were all three fighting him, and they weren't necessarily winning. She was doing pretty. She cut off his fucking arm, lassoed him. He was starting. He was spilling the truth. I don't think that's true. He was like, "I'm General Zod." I don't think that's true. Kneel before me. You're she not. was holding her own big time against him. I don't know she, if you watched this movie really. She was holding her own, but like Superman and him, he was. Clear- if she could cut off his arm and tie him up, she could stab a spear. I'm into not him arguing that she couldn't do it she mm-hmm. was the best thing about this whole movie and you know what made her even better if she killed doomsday and batman v- she took down the villain of batman v superman that would have been great it wouldn't make any fucking sense though why the whole movie had to make any fucking sense batman's about to kill him and not he doesn't stop because you know killing is wrong because his mother has the same name Martha? Let, let me ask you this she kills doomsday yeah what's the justice league then then just they they kill him and then they just get together and then Justice League is still the just, Justice League has nothing to do with Doomsday. No, no, it'd be, no, 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 it'd be no, no, Steppenwolf and Darkseid and all that. Yeah, but would be those three and then they got those emails like, well, let's go get Aquaman and the Flash and Cyborg, and boom, they just get those three guys with them. She doesn't even need them if she can just kill Doomsday by herself. Well, but then she can't kill Darkseid and all that. Why not by herself? If you're just going to keep saying, why not? I can't answer your questions, pal. That's not a good way to have a conversation. I, they, I almost feel they, like... They could have easely just had Justice League, with them teaming up, and it could have been like a happy... Because these ones are all dark. Now they actually took down a bad guy. They get those three other pals with them, and then Dark Side pops up. In a perfect world, maybe you should fucking direct the next Batman versus Superman. Come here. 
Warner Brothers. I mean, why did they even call Batman versus Superman? They barely fought. Yeah, that was real dumb. That's why I'm saying they should have done another. They should have done other movies first, and then. I mean, honestly, I don't think you really even need to have them fight. I mean, in King Kong versus Godzilla, they fight. Which that got delayed until fucking next year. Do you still got the '63 version? It's not not as it's not good. I want to see like fucking giant ass lizards and giant ass gorilla fighting and knocking down buildings. What about when he stuffs the tree in Godzilla's what mouth? About, uh, the, doesn't he put an octopus? In his mouth too or something? I forget. Something like that. Uh, I don't know where we were. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say my number two, and then you can go with what you have left. I don't remember whose turn it is. Okay. Uh, Lex Luthor kidnapping Martha and throws her off the roof. Oh, sorry. And throws Lois off the roof to get Superman's attention. I really like that. That he, like, went after his women and all that. Yeah. He's a dick. A little bit, yeah. And uh, it also is a little weird when you get, do get into that warehouse. Who do you like better, Joker or Lex Luthor? Definitely Joker. Yeah, it's not even close, huh? I mean, a good Lex Luthor, like, like, uh, 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 uh... John Cryer? John Cryer as Lex Luthor is great. I like him. Like, he actually makes me, like, really like it. I've never really been a huge fan of Lex Luthor. Like, no. he's, he's always seemed like... He, a, he's been a cool idea, but, like, I haven't, like, I haven't loved him, you know? I haven't seen the 1978 Superman in, like, forever. mm mm-hmm. But they had Gene Hackman as, as Lex Luthor, mm-hmm. and Gene Hackman's a fucking great actor. So he was really good. So mm-hmm. that's just who I see as yeah. Lex Luthor, no matter who it is. I mean, he was better than Kevin Spacey. He was better than anybody. Um, but I like that that like, he does that to get their attention. And then Superman, uh, he actually, he's like, oh, he could have done this better too. He has to go. T- he has to go talk to Batman to like um, stop the fight. He's like, I need you to help me see my mom and m- you know oh, all right. this shit. So he goes there and he steps on the thing, gets all the sound waves going around him and all that. And he's like, no. And we have to talk. He literally could have flown up to him and like grabbed him or something. But like, no, dude, I don't want to fight you. Yeah, like I need help. But like, I know that's all just leading to them fighting because Batman's had enough of him and all that. And Superman did yell at him a couple scenes before that. Yeah, I did. Like, but I, I feel like his approach to just trying to talk to him could have been a little better. Yeah, maybe. But uh, but I I like that they at least like had him try that, and it wasn't just them like. Arr. That'd have been kind of cool. They're growling <laughs> just, at each just other, growling at each other oh, like yeah. dogs. They're barking in that alley. People walk by like, "What the fuck is going on? <laughs> These are our saviors." Wow. Um, and then I love that the I love their fight scene, uh, except for the Martha part. Oh, where he's where he's like, "Huh? He's like, what, what, what did you say? Why did you say that name? Why did you?" And she's like, "Oh my god, it's his mom's name." And he's like, "Oh shit, he's got a mom." It's weird. I had a mom too. It's weird, and everybody makes fun of it. I just don't understand, like, you're writing this movie, and you're like, yeah, Batman, we see in fight. Oh, it's awesome. He shoots a little fucking smoke grenade at him. Kryptonite smoke pops up. Like, all oh, this fight scenes is cool. Ba- Superman rips off his face mask, all this shit. And then it, this fight ends because he says his mom's name. Like, how do you get to that point when you're writing it? It's not even his real mom. Yeah, he should have been like, uh, what's his mom's name? It's jor And then she's like... Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Durrell? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that that's my second to last one I got. Uh, I did, at number eight, I put Is She With You? Even though uh, it doesn't that, make that, any it. sense. Yeah, because he sent her an email saying, hey, he literally says, is this you? Yeah. In the picture and all that stuff. But, um. Greatest detective, he can't fucking figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still, but it's still funny when he says it. Yeah, he he has like his oh shit is she with you? There's some yeah. good lines like that from him. Yeah. And then I have a I have a bonus one here, uh, that we kind of already talked about, but uh, it says that Superman tries to take down Doomsday, brings him to space, and the military nukes him and falls back to Earth, actually causing more damage. Yeah, I do like too that they go out of their way to be like everybody went home from work. All this, like they keep having these little tiny little messages they put out through the movie of people talking. So you're like no 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 people aren't dying in this one. We're in a random city that just people don't hang around at work late. I think at this point, too, I was a little sick of hearing how many innocent people die. Yeah. Because, like, they, it's the same with Avengers when they lift up the city. It's like, if yeah. you, you can't control the See, bad guys. In Civil War, they, they did that a lot better. Because at least them, it's like, they went back through all the movies. Because like, they never even bring that up. And they're like, no, you guys kill a lot of people. And they're like, oh, shit, we do. Just like, oh, yeah, they kind of do. Yeah. But, like, they did that, like, way better. Yeah. Because uh, at, at least then it led to splitting up the team and then all that shit. Yeah, because they fought over, like, the stuff. Yeah, and then yeah. it led to Tony Stank. Are you Tony Stank? Uh, my last two mm-hmm. is just Batman getting chased by Doomsday. Maybe that's why I was arguing with you, because that's in my top ten. Oh, you liked it. You didn't even remember, but you liked it. Like, because he knew he, he just chucked it, and then that fucking building collapsed. My point yeah. was, See, and what, but, if he, what if he's like, 
he gets there, uh-huh. and then Doomsday's fighting Superman, kills Superman, then he's fighting Wonder Woman, and he's getting the hand up on her. And meanwhile, he's like, where did I put that fucking spear? Yeah, and you know what might make that a lot easier to find? If you don't have Doomsday chasing you there, and you leave him going, ah, in that fucking town. Why do town. you make Doomsday a big baby? That's why he's just, he was just yelling around on there when he's like, I have to get him to curse me. You know what you remind me of when you do that? What? You know the guy in Saturday Night Live when he does the adult baby? <laughs> That's what you remind me of. But, like, it, you know, it, it's it's infinitely easier if he doesn't have Doomsday chasing him and stuff's blowing up. And Everything's then, easier if Doomsday's not chasing you. What's your point? Why did he have him chase him? He didn't even know he was there. He, so then he had to fly the plant around and all this shit to him to get his attention and then flew yeah, to he, Gotham. I liked it when he drove by and went, hey, like, fuck he went, you. He went, e- e- and then he's like, what? And chased him? Yeah, he's like you with the fucking horn. So now we're at the point of the show where you have to rank it. So is this movie a... Or a... I dig it. I think it's an aw shit. Aw shit. For me, it's in the middle of a... I dig it. It's a... I dig shit. Oh, so it's shit. like, oh, I dig shit. Yeah. I dig, oh, I dig shit. shit. There, there, I mean, there's I parts of it that shit. I do like. Yeah. But there's... It's... Like, I'm not gonna ever watch it again unless you make me. Uh, yeah, I probably actually will watch it again just right before the Snatter Cut comes out because this will lead right into the actual Justice League. Mm. That'd probably be the only reason I'll watch it. The only movies you have is Man of Steel and this. How is your ranking? I like this better than Man of Steel. I do too. Even Man of Steel is really good. But if I'm going to watch another Superman movie, I'm going to watch the one where he fights Batman. That's kind of obvious. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's all I got, folks. Uh, comment down below what you think of this movie. Uh, if you like it, you hate it. If you think Batman should have not had Doomsday chase him to the fucking spear and also superman should have just handed it to fucking wonder woman you don't need to save the day every goddamn time superman for fuck's sake